Hello everyone, this is Sergei Mitelsky and today I'd like to share with you a function I wrote for using in Natron's expressions. So keep in mind, in order to use expressions in Natron Compositor, uh, you have to use Natron version 2.0 and above. I'm using currently Natron 2.0 release candidate 2. And uh, this function I wrote uh, called Wiggle works just as much as a uh, famous wiggle function in uh, After Effects. So I'm going to show it to you right now. So here I have this little natural logo here and I'm going to add a transform node here. And now uh, I want to point out that this function works with any uh, numeric parameter. So uh, now I right click on a desired parameter and hit set expression all dimensions and what I'm doing now is I'm just going to type wiggle now this function in uh, a global declarative variables and I'm going to type 10 it stands for frequency then uh, 10 for amplitude and I'm just going to set time to frame so frame is a pre-declared global variable uh, that references a timeline and that's pretty much it it works and it shows us a current value but in order to get uh, random uh, values for uh, both dimension of this parameter I'm just gonna type seed dimension and dimension is referencing to a uh, specific dimension at multi-dimensional parameters and I'm just gonna times it by 10 to get random parameters and that's pretty much it now I hit OK and we see if I hit play now this logo start dancing nicely and uh, you can do it with pretty much any numeric parameter let's set it to rotation hit uh, 10 20 time frame and that's pretty much it hit OK and voila it works pretty neat huh now I'm gonna clear rotation parameter clear and set it to zero and I'm gonna show you how to control frequency and amplitude parameters over time with animation curves now it's really simple you have to add a couple of user-defined parameters that will stand for frequency this is going to be floating point parameter and amplitude accordingly so uh, yeah this is floating point parameter as well and now we just need to uh, modify slightly our expressions we're gonna switch it to multi-line mode and we're gonna declare our frequency this node frequency get zero so we get in here our frequency parameter that we just declared th that we just created in the user section and we're gonna do the same for our amplitude parameter this node amp get and all you can do now and uh, and all you need to do now is just uh, to set it as frequency as two first arguments here and amplitude and don't forget in multi-line mode you have to type return to get our final result here so read OK you see it now uh, displays as zero is because we have zero values right here now we type 20 like 20 for example and we can see it works just perfectly now we need to set first key at uh, frame 1 for example then go to frame 100 I'm going to set to 30 and now we can see it's starting to increase amplitude nice and well that's pretty much it now finally uh, I'm going to tell you how to uh, get this function into your natron so this is really simple so here's this little function here and you just need to copy this and uh, and paste it into your init.py file 
which have to be created first in uh, Natron plugins folder. This file will automatically hook up every time Natron launching and this function is going to be declared as a global uh, until Natron is closed. I'm going to attach a link to this file down under this video so feel free to download and use it and uh, more awesome stuff coming up from me so stay tuned Sergei Mitelsky here thanks everyone goodbye